Welcome to I CEO know. of I Ansaldo know. Energia, I Fabrizio know. Fabri, I know. Um, as a next speaker, uh, Thank to you. share his perspective on energy security in Azerbaijan. Uh, thank you, Patrick. And thank you really for this invitation and this opportunity to speak here in this, uh, this nice forum. Uh, I noticed that there are a lot of different opinions, and this is really what we would need when we speak about energy, because if, you, if people speak within the same tribe, there is all, always an agreement, but you don't move the needle. So a little bit about Ansaldo. Ansaldo is not exactly, as Patrick said, a startup. Uh, we have 170 years of history, and it is an Italian company. We are active in three sectors, uh, rotating equipment for energy. We have gas turbine up to H technology, steam turbine and generators. Also, we are active in nuclear. It looks strange that after 40 years that we de deny the nuclear in Italy, still we have companies working in this sector quite actively, particularly in the world of SMR, LFR, and fusion in the project ITER in, in Europe. And also we are in the green sector through electrolyzers and distributed power. And we are actively looking into the carbon capture with several companies and several projects. Um, so a little bit then about Italy and Azerbaijan, that um, I think there is a a strong a strategic uh, partnership between Italy and Azerbaijan. As a matter of fact, I know that uh, in the audience today we have our, our His Excellency, our Ambassador uh, Luca Di Gianfrancesco that has honored me of his presence. And, but the, really when this, um, this relationship, it is about energy because as we speak, 12% of the gas that we utilize in Italy is coming from this country, 12%. And uh, when you build an infrastructure for energy, you build a relationship between two countries. And this has been uh, undersigned even more, this relationship, in February last year when we signed uh, the, an order for the, for the install, production installation of a new gas power plant, quite advanced in technology, in the, in the town of Mingachevir. So um, a little bit about this, this new plant, right, in Mingachevir. I think that this has been really an enlightening view to install this, this gas turbine. I will tell you why. First of all, because this, this gas turbine is 1,208 megawatt available. This machine, they will be in service beginning of next year. Um, and just installing this machine, you can have in a very quick time, right? You can save, you can increase the efficiency from the actual 38% up to 56%. So what does it mean that it, in a moment, right, you are reducing your emission of CO2 by 2 million tons per year, okay, compared to the actual power plant. But more important that this infrastructure, right, so first of all, in my view, my humble view, uh, the gas will be needed with renewable, and I will tell you later, for another 25 years. But these machines are today ready to bar hydrogen up to 70%, to 40 to 70%. The problem today, and we do not have enough hydrogen, these gas turbines are very flexible, so it is an infrastructure that will last for the next decade. And um, <clears throat> as I said before, we are seeing this in Germany, in Italy, where we have a lot of renewable installed. There is an equation that more renewable today means more gas. Why? Simply because you will always have a night with no wind. And today, the only way we have to store energy is batteries or pumping station. But when we are talking about supply energy to an entire country, we need to be realistic. 
because any government would fail in front of a blackout of one night. Every government on the planet. And particularly today, if you compare a blackout in the, in the 20th century would have been, you know, lack of light. But today, imagine just today the shock. So with this being said, I'm going to, to close this, right? Um, I believe that um, is um, plants like these and in the future production of hydrogen, they will make their even more greener or ca carbon capture, but are needed. So the concept is in order to have secure energy and affordable, you need the right mix. No one in the planet that is seriously speaking can think of powering everything with coal or everything with photovoltaic or wind, right? So, and just to, to be, um, to give another information, these kind of machines, right? In combined cycle, you have more or less 500 megawatts per unit. So the, these kind of machine they are able to give load variation of each machine eight megawatt per minute. It doesn't mean that with four machines in one minute, you can light a medium size down. And this is the reason why together with renewable, you need gas and we will need gas. We need to reduce the utilization of gas with smarter system, we need gas. And last but not least, we are here with, uh, with this great country and we are here to stay. We have a, a strong cooperation with Azer Energy <clears throat> and together last year we signed an agreement with, between Polytechnic of Torino, other University, and Saldo Energia and Azer Energy to create a pool of research here in, in, in Azerbaijan to support our technology because we want to be here for stay. So with these I will say thank you very much and I passed to Patrick. <laughs>